BIM's the best communication tool we have because it breaks down the barriers in understanding. It, typically it takes years to learn how to read drawings efficiently and effectively and even then there's an element of interpretation in it. Where is a detail applied from and to? Uh, only so many uh, sections or details are provided within a 2D set of drawings whereas with the um, BIM viewers you can effectively create a section uh, through through wherever you need. So you can see where a detail starts being applied and stop, stops being applied and, and then interrogate that point because that point is where um, is, is often the crux of the issue is you're dealing with the built environment where a detail starts and stops is where you start introducing a new material system an intersection it's what creates risk to us it's junctions it's dissimilar materials it's a need for consideration of construction sequence the model is just by far the easiest way. Um, you start with the detail and then you take it to the model and you, you see where this detail is applied from and to. Yeah. The use of this um, as a communication tool for worker safety is really around more effective planning. For here, we plan for quality. If you plan for quality, quality first, health and safety always. We want to cut out rework. Rework means you're usually doing things twice, it means that you are using more materials, more time, and often um, you're trying to do things quickly to recover the time that you're perceived to have lost. So by understanding the details better, we can plan better. We can ask the questions before we start building um, and we can produce a better quality outcome. It's around, yeah, just identification and management of risk before it eventuates and often you know, the process of planning is all about how is it built. So we need to find the parts that we don't understand how they are built and, and make a plan together how they are. So, you know, I guess it's just, we, it, it helps us identify the parts that we're less clear of and, um, and come up with a means of dealing with them. And sometimes this can be a hybrid approach. Um, the details provide us 2D answers. We live in a 3D world. The site managers aren't capable of modelling, but they are very capable of snipping out of the model the area that they can't see working and then drawing over that in pen. And all of a sudden you're bringing the architect's 2D detail to life and explaining to them why it doesn't work in this particular circumstance. And every piece of that that we can do before we've got hammers and nails and mobile scaffolds and, and the rest of it out there, Every part of that that we can do before we're building saves time, it saves money and it saves completing rework in an unplanned fashion.